Greetings and welcome to a new season of the Mike Leaf Show here on the Warrior Sports Network. I'm Sports Information Director Corporate L, joined by the head guy, Mike Leaf, head coach of the Illinois State basketball team. Coach, hard to believe, but we're seven, seven games into the season already. Uh, kind of an up and down season for you guys so far, four and three overall. Uh, kind of in general, what's your thoughts on the season so far? I am disappointed, to be honest with you. I, um, you know, I, up until last weekend, I thought we were, and I still do, I think we're making some great strides. Uh, just we ran into a buzzsaw, and, uh, you know, we had the opportunity to, uh, to score and, and uh, beat a very good Southwest uh, Minnesota State team. And then, uh, you know, as we went to uh, Sioux Falls, it's one of the coldest shooting percentages in, in, in games that I've been a part of. It was just, I mean, it, we could not throw anything in the ocean, to be honest. So it's, it's something that, um, you know, sometimes you have those types of games and, uh, you know, we've got to get back on track right away. Yep. Let's start with that, uh, that uh, Southwest Minnesota State game on Friday night. Fun game to watch, close game. Uh, Southwest and Winona State always seems like it's such a physical battle and it reminded me a lot of that game there last year. Kind of the same exact situation, timeouts at the end, a potential game winning shot from you guys. Uh, why, is, why are those games with you two, the, t the two teams there are always such a physical close game? Well I like? think you know it's just got a big history and we, we actually have a, a great record at Southwest up until the last mm -hmm. two years and uh, I think it's just the fact that um, you know Coach Beegler is, is always known, I've always known him very, very well. Uh, I think that, uh, you know, the one year that they had gone out to the, uh, the, to the Elite Eight, uh, I had traveled out to watch them play. So I've gotten to, uh, you know, have a good friendship with uh, just their whole coaching staff. And, uh, but it's, you know, I think also you have a good respect for their, their program, how hard they work. And they've always been a, a very physical team. And I think from the flip side of things is that, you know, I, 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 you know, from past years, et cetera, you know, anytime we, we get out on the floor, you know, everybody wants mm -hmm. to beat you. And so it's, it's uh, you know, it just always has been a great, great battle. Yeah. And you touched on the Sioux Falls game as well, really poor shooting night. Um, <coughs> last year, you kind of struggled there too. Is, is, there, is the gym any, have anything to do with that? Such a small kind of confined gym, is that, is that throwing you I, off a little bit? I don't think so at all. I, uh, you know, it was, it was just kind of, you know, it wasn't so much that we were, you know, missing the shots. I mean, they were in and outs and things like that. There were some shots that we just blatantly missed, mm -hmm. or there might have been an air ball. And and then, but the thing was, is that times we missed and even got the offensive rebound, uh, we'd put it back up or we'd get a tip. Uh, I vividly remember uh, Tim Wagner mm -hmm. gets a little four footer and he shoots that one back up, and a guy that makes those all the time. And I, I was just shaking my head. And you know, it's it's uh, you you would think after a period of time that would go away, but it certainly didn't. But you know, you have those nights, and then you, <coughs> excuse me, you've got to play great defense. And and I did not think our defense was very good that night at all. Uh, you know, it was our first back-to-back -back game, but you have those all season long, and and we've got to be able to uh, bounce back and play. A, as hard of a game on Saturday night day as we do on Friday. Let's talk a little bit about Riley Bamanek, too. He had a great start to the season, <coughs> just like last year, and then all of a sudden last weekend he struggled, didn't get into double figures in either game. Um, are, the teams, are, the, are the other teams just keying on him really strongly, or did he just have a poor shooting weekend? A, a combo of both, but more so, uh, you know, they were, they were shadowing him at Southwest. They were, I mean, both places, and he's going to run into that. Uh, the part about that happening, though, is is you really like to involve your post player to go set a lot of ball screens for him or him become a screener. But at the same time, you know, that's why we've been successful here is is that we just don't rely on one guy. So, mm -hmm. you know, I, I just want Riley to get us the 15, 18 points, you know, but, but I want everybody else to, to contribute that 12, uh, 10, 12, 15 points as well. And it was just across the board where we weren't hitting those shots. But uh, um, that, that's something that we knew was coming. But uh, mm -hmm. guys got to step up and they've got to make yeah. those shots. All right. Well, the good thing is another big homestand here in McCown Gymnasium this weekend. Yeah. We'll talk a little bit about that later in the week. Uh, and then uh, before that, we'll talk to Muhammad Ali Benamar, one of the new players for you this year. Cool uh, a little bit, A little bit later here on the Mike Leaf Show on the Warrior Sports Network.